23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. New information tonight regarding the sexual misconduct allegations brought against Monsignor Craig Harrison. We've learned a person came forward in Firebot back in 1998 and reported sex abuse by Monsignor Harrison, making three total accusers. Today, the Fresno Diocese says 21 years ago, an alleged victim reported sex abuse by Monsignor Harrison to the Firebot Police Department. The department investigated but decided not to pursue charges. Later in 2002, that same alleged victim came back and reported the alleged abuse to the diocese again. The diocese says it was the same complaint and found it to be unsubstantiated. Officials at the Kern Valley State Prison in Delano are investigating a deadly use of force incident that left a use of deadly force incident that left an inmate injured today. According to officials, the incident occurred Monday morning where four inmates stabbed a fifth inmate after repeated attempts to stop the attack. An officer fired a shot from a mini 14 rifle and one of the assailants was hit. Three of the inmates were transported to nearby local hospitals. Their conditions are not known at this time and no staff injuries were reported. The CDCR says its review board will be doing a full review of the incident. The Kern County Sheriff's Office reported tonight that a missing 24 year old man from East Palo Alto was found unharmed in a remote area of the Sand Canyon today. On Sunday, KCSO officials say they received a report of a missing person in the area of Chimney Peak Wilderness near Chimney Peak Campground. Search and rescue crews were called out to begin the search. At about 11 this morning, the man was found unharmed and was airlifted to safety. We had an active weather day across Kern County that dropped temperatures more than 10 degrees from what we were feeling this time yesterday. As that system clears, we will slowly be warming. 78 will be our high on Tuesday, so right on track with seasonal up to the low 80s by Wednesday for May 1st. Then warming up to near 90 degrees on Friday and Saturday. And then the cool down is on the way this weekend as we are tracking yet another system moving toward the county. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23com